In this bolo video, you know, be on the lookout, we're going to talk about baskets, all different types of baskets. We're going to start at $25 on what sold on eBay for at least $25 and up. And what is that up to? Well, you have to watch and see. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to my channel. As I said in this video, we're going to talk about baskets, all types of baskets. And I think you're going to be surprised as to what some baskets can sell for. I know I was surprised as I was putting together this video, this bolo video to show you, I couldn't believe what some baskets are going for. In fact, I'm going to share a little history on some of the high-end baskets. With that said, let's get started. This first basket is a vintage red wire basket. You can't go wrong with the color red. And of course, it's an apple basket sold for $25.15. It was free shipping, and I think it's just adorable. I have seen these before. Have you? These simple, plain bushel baskets are vintage, as they say. Little storage baskets, you know, really nothing very fancy but two of them sold for $27 free shipping, so that's not too bad. I often see these type of baskets. Here are three simple round baskets, you know, rattan woven baskets sold for $29.95 with free ship. And some people are hanging these baskets on their walls. So yeah, pretty simple. And you can pick these up a lot of times at garage sales for what, 25, 50 cents a basket. So keep that in mind. This is a small vintage handmade basket, an egg gathering basket, also known as buttocks. Do you know why? Can you kind of see it there? Pretty cute. I didn't even know they were called buttocks. Buttocks or buttocks baskets. I can't say that. Um, sold for $29.99 with free shipping. This is a pretty red and green grass basket, natural grass. Um, I can't tell you exactly where the grass came from but it is hand woven and sold for $25.99 plus shipping. Little oval basket. Um, I have seen these before. It's been quite some time, but I think it's a pretty little basket. This is another egg basket. It's an Appalachian split oak egg basket with a little slot handle sold for $35 with free shipping. I like this antique vintage wire egg basket. It says it's collapsible and adjustable steel wire fruit basket sold for $30 plus shipping. Here's an eBay sale that I've heard of before and I probably have some of these somewhere. Do you? I have, I know I have these plate holders somewhere. A set of 14 vintage boho wicker paper plate holders uh, or wall decor, I guess, uh, around 10 inches, $39 free shipping. Um, yeah, pretty basic. They, to me, they're just something you, you keep for your picnics and going camping. But here they sold for $39 for 14 of them. Here's a vintage wicker basket, a pretty nice size, 15 by 10 by 6, sold for $39.95, free shipping. I bet it costs a little bit to ship this. I would imagine it costs at least $15 or so. Personally, I'm not a big fan of free shipping. I always charge shipping, calculated shipping, as you know, if it's a priority. But yes, um, keep in mind these little vintage wicker baskets, these old picnic baskets. Now here's another surprise. This is just an assortment of wicker, rattan, boho baskets. You can use them for wall hangings. Uh, it says farmhouse and hippie as keywords in the listing. A lot of seven for $42.99 with free shipping. You know, baskets don't weigh very much, so I think you could probably nest most of these together and it wouldn't really cost too much to ship them. Remember the huge moving cell that I went to last weekend and they had so many things? There were baskets there and I didn't pay much attention to them. I, mean, I looked at them a little bit, but now I'm rethinking things and thinking about picking up a variety of baskets and doing lots like this, as long as I have the room to store them. So yeah, do you sell lots of baskets? If you do, leave a comment below. I wish I knew more about this basket. It says it's multicolor and it's hand woven and it's coiled, you know, coiled around, they hand stitch everything. But I think it's a very pretty basket and very unique. It's uh, sold for $35 plus shipping. 
I'm sure you expected a longer burger basket in this video, in this bolo video. This is a brown wicker basket with handles and red cloth lining. Apparently it's dated back to 1998, sold for $44.95 plus shipping. This is a pretty vintage Mexican decorative basket and or bowl, sold for $45. Now what caught my attention on this sold listing is it says free local pickup in San Antonio, Texas. I have to tell you, I don't see a lot of uh, sold items on eBay that require pickup. It seems like that would really limit your audience, but you know, sold for $45 and it's pretty. So here are two vintage Wireworks metal perforated industrial storage gym locker baskets. Woo! Sold for $49.99 with free shipping. I'm not 100% sure if these are vintage. You know, I like to keep my videos vintage items that sold. They could be reproduction being sold as vintage. I'm not really sure, but they did sell for $49.99 with free ship. So it was a, it was a nice sale for someone. I like this one a lot. It's a vintage bicycle wire front basket. And you know what's strange? They spelled bicycle wrong. They spelled basket wrong. And it's still sold for $49.99 free ship. So I guess you don't always have to spell it right for it to show up in the right category or for someone to find it. You know, that's kind of good to know. But anyway, keep that in mind. A basic bicycle basket, old, might be worth 50 bucks. And here's another nice sale. Five vintage wall pocket baskets. You know, the kind that you hang on the wall and you can put faux flowers in them or something, definitely not real plants inside the house because they're not watertight and they do have handles. So five of these sold for $45 plus shipping. I think that was a really nice sale and these shouldn't be too hard to find. Keep your eyes open for the wall pocket baskets. All right, vintage Nantucket basket with swing handle. You had to know that they were coming up, right? Eventually, just like the Loggenberger. So it sold for $49.95 plus shipping. And when it says vintage, well, I think it's probably from the 1980s. Uh, looking at it here, it's not an antique or one of the original authentic Nantucket baskets, but I assume it could have been made in Nantucket. But, but we're going to talk about that later in this video. The Nantucket basket style is made all over the place now. You can buy your supplies online and anyone can make them. Typically, it's not really authentic unless it's made by someone in Nantucket and signed by someone in Nantucket, but we're going to talk about that. Keep on watching here. I've got more for you. I think this is an interesting basket. It says it's a Native American Indian basket, covered basket in orange and brown and handmade. You do have to be very careful on eBay if you're using the words Native American Indian. It has to be authentic. And so whoever sold this, I will assume knew that it was. Sold for $49 plus shipping. Seems like it would have sold for more. But it's only nine and a half inches, but a very unique basket and a nice sale. All right, let's start moving up a little bit in price. This vintage bamboo basket, little flower basket, sold for $77 with free shipping. I can remember this style being popular back in the 70s. Another vintage Nantucket handbag. They're saying it's a whale purse. It probably has a whale design on top. The carved look figures on top of the Nantucket baskets used to be actually made from ivory, but they're made from a synthetic material now, probably some kind of resin composite. And these uh, reproduction baskets have been around since the 1980s. It's very hard to get your hands on a, an original Nantucket. And you can tell by the price, $76, still a nice sale, plus shipping for this little basket purse. And here's a set of five nested Nantucket baskets, nested meaning that they nest into each other. And they're calling it nautical decor, sold for $85 plus 15. This was actually a real bargain. Now these again are made in the Nantucket style, perhaps made in Nantucket, but not signed. Again, you'll see throughout this video, they're not signed or they would have said that in the listing. Thus they sold for $85, but I still think that's a very, very good price. Something I learned while researching for this video about the Nantucket baskets is that they started being imported into the U.S. from China uh, by various companies throughout the United States here. And so they're 
reproductions, very good reproductions, but reproductions just the same made in China. And I assume that that is the case with this basket because it didn't sell for very much and wasn't signed. And as far as the reproductions or imported Nantucket baskets go since the 1980s, here are some of the companies that you might find these names on the bottom of a basket and they actually are importers having the baskets made overseas in China or wherever. This is a cool looking basket. It says it's authentic antique Adirondack trapper basket used in good condition. Has a lot of character. Sold for $76 and the shipping was around $28. So pretty unique. Uh, again, keep your eyes open for old and unusual baskets. I have more. Keep watching. Here's another Nantucket basket. And as I said, there's going to be several in here, but it's for a good reason. It's because some of them can sell for a lot of money. And again, this um, Nantucket baskets were known as friendship baskets. And again, the whale carving is uh, synthetic, but it has all the looks, all the style, all the design of a, uh, an original Nantucket basket. But again, I would think this is imported because it's not signed and it's too new. Let's move on up in price again. Let's look at baskets over $100. This is a vintage large oval Nantucket lightship basket tray. The term lightship refers to boats that would stay in harbor and light up the entire boat to help ships find their way to shore. And it was a term that was used in the Nantucket area. This Nantucket lightship basket, um, which again, probably made in the 1980s, or it would be going for a lot more than a hundred dollars uh, was sold with free shipping. And this is a photo, a very old photo of a Nantucket light ship. And as I read, the men would spend a lot of time on the ship and they would have the ship lit up to help other boats to arrive safely into the harbor. Here's another basket that I really like. Vintage English garden flower trug. I'm not familiar with the term trug basket, but by Thomas Smith and Sons from Sussex, England. Sold for $122.50. And as you know, I'm going through here showing you all the photos and this one is stamped on the bottom. But I thought it was really beautiful how the seller of this basket staged it for the photography. I thought they did a great job. It looks like a basket you want to buy. Baskets, anyone? There are so many baskets here. Oh, they didn't even put the count in the uh, listing. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I think I counted 22. I could be wrong. Count them for me. Sold for $129 plus shipping. Just an assortment of wicker, rattan, all kinds of materials. They use boho, wall hanging, decor, farmhouse. Somebody knows how to market these baskets. I would say that's a very nice sale considering that you can find baskets so cheap. Like I said, 25 to 50 cents. So. Yeah, if you're inclined, pick up a bunch of baskets and sell them as a lot. Two more English baskets, a lot of two, garden flower trug. There's that word trug again. I should have looked that up. If I find out before I release this video, I'll, I'll put a little note up here somewhere. Thomas Smith and Sons, Sussex, Six, England, sold for $149.99 plus shipping. Very unique looking basket. You know, these are being sold out of New Richmond, Indiana. Who knows if it was a souvenir or someone brought it over and these baskets were inherited, but be on the lookout for them. Look to see if baskets have a maker's mark or a stamp. That makes it so much easier to do the research too. So tell me, have you ever seen turtle baskets really now? I have never seen turtle baskets until I came across this listing. Vintage antique turtle nesting baskets, four of them with lids, little turtle family, native style, and sold for $159.99. I'd say that was a really nice sale. Free shipping. I've never seen anything like these, but I think they're absolutely adorable. This basket looks so simple. It's just a coiled reed basket with the lid, 13 by seven, it's a nice size, I guess, but even though it's vintage, you know, pre-1980, what is it that made it sell for 175 plus shipping? I'm missing something on this and I'm not sure what it is. 
it really doesn't give me enough information in the title to uh, to research this, but obviously it's a nice sale. So if you find a basket that looks like this, pick it up. And here is a stair step basket, you know, the kind of basket that you put at the bottom of the, of the steps to put all your stuff in it, to carry all that stuff up the steps. Well, this one, this Nantucket basket sold for $200 plus shipping. Again, they use the keywords of nautical decor. Again, doesn't say anything about signature, suspect reproduction uh, from China. And, but still sold for $200. I didn't know until I did the research that just because it says Nantucket, the Nantucket style of basket, doesn't mean that it was made here in Nantucket or even in the U.S. All right, let's see if we can go over $200 now. This is a very large wall basket. It's a square basket. It says it's made from bamboo in the Philippines. I don't know how to pronounce this tribe name. Ifugua tribe, a rice basket. Sorry if I said that really wrong. Sold for $225 plus shipping. I have seen these kind of baskets before, but I think I've seen them in home decor stores, not at a sale. But be on the lookout, it's worth some money. Here's another wire basket, a locker bin basket. It's 12 by 13 by 7. It says it's vintage. Mm, I hope so. Could be a reproduction. Sold for $240 though. It doesn't look old to me though. It doesn't really look used. It looks brand new. So that's why I suspect it could be a reproduction, but, and they have seven available. I'm a little suspicious of that. I don't know. What do you think? Comment below. Here's some vintage Charleston, South Carolina, Gula, no, yeah, Gula, sweet grass baskets and folk art, lot of seven, sold for $250 shipping included very attractive basket nice little lids nice little handles nice weaving um i have never actually seen a sweet grass basket but i think they're pretty cool and they're worth some money i really got a kick out of finding this sold listing three words in the title vintage olive baskets so for 300 dollars plus shipping and they were photographed what looks like in someone's bedroom. At least it looks like it. I think they left their coffee on the dresser there. Anyway, um, they must be pretty big. Okay, they're olive baskets. So they must be pretty big. But yeah, I've never seen these in the wild searching for things to resell. But now that I know what they look like, I would recognize them and pick them up. So keep olive baskets in mind. And you only need three words in your title to make 300 bucks. Who doesn't love a pink basket? And this is a large Longa Burger basket, a hamper, pink and brown weave with lid. They even have a, it even has a liner sold for $404.99. Now we're moving on up now, aren't we? With the baskets plus shipping. Do you have a hamper basket that you're not using anymore by Longa Burger? Maybe I'll list it. Another Longa Burger basket. This is a hostess shopping cart basket. It has a liner and plastic protector. You know, I searched the keywords vintage when I was doing this, so I don't know, you know, the age of this basket, but it sold for $425 and it cost $134 in shipping. I think it went out of the country. What do you think? You know, it says it was sold out of Dresden, Ohio. You think somebody has connections? Never know. And here's five small and apparently rare Longa Burger baskets, storage baskets with lid protectors. I guess it's uh, got a color of indigo or a style of indigo. Sold for $499.99 plus $54 shipping. Looks like Longa Burger is still selling well. I, um, again, I don't have any to sell. And most people who sell them at garage sales still want a lot of money for them. But if you can get a good deal, I'd say pick them up and put them on eBay. So here we have our first signed Nantucket purse. And so saying it's vintage in Nantucket and signed Anderson um, has a scallop shell. Now, this is still a synthetic material for the shell. This is not an antique Nantucket. This is a 
vintage Nantucket, but it is signed by someone that I believe would be an artisan, a weaver, basket weaver in Nantucket. And this one sold for $457 plus shipping. This sale surprised me. It's a Longaberger Hope chest basket with lid and protector. Has a wrought iron table stand. And what surprised me, well first it sold for $299.99. But someone paid $202.35 to ship it. I don't know. It was coming out of California. I have no idea where it went to. But that's a lot of money to ship anything, especially a basket, don't you think? I don't know. Maybe it went out of the country. I've mentioned the light ship baskets. And as I said, they're originally made by sailors on Nantucket light ships. The ships were called light ships. Here is a vintage light ship basket that's been signed by S.P. Boyer and it sold for $650 with free shipping. And because they spent so much time on the ship, they got into basket weaving and they would prepare all the material that they needed on shore and they would take it with them onto the ship and that's when they would make the baskets. And they were called light ship baskets because they made them on a light ship. The baskets that were made at this time in the 1920s were made from oak and rattan and this material was imported by whaling ships and some of this material was used in the packaging or the binding of the goods coming into the country and so they were actually the first recyclers recycling the oak and the rattan and the, the material that was used for tying up bundles they recycled it and that's where they got their first materials for making baskets light ship baskets. As I said, the card figures were made originally from ivory and when they would do drawings of a whale or drawings of some other nautical scene, it's considered scrimshaw. Now they still sell scrimshaw designs on handbags. As I said, they're made from resin or some type of synthetic material, but the antique baskets were made from ivory, which of course is banned. Let's jump back to another Longaberger basket with an iron stand, a workaround basket with a butcher block, and it says the uh, must be the lining is paprika, sold for $725.99, and again, someone paid $175 in shipping. Do you have any Longa Burger baskets lying around that you'd like to sell? Now's the time. I've got a few more bolos for you. So what do you think about $1,136 plus shipping for a vintage signed 1966 wooden jug, as I also call the baskets, Nantucket with a sperm whale carving penny purse basket. Would you like to have $1,136 for that basket? Sure, why not? What's it mean by penny basket? Some weavers started inserting a penny in the bottom of the basket to show the year that it was made. In 1948, Jose Reyes, who moved from the Philippines to Nantucket, became the person, the originator of the first lidded baskets. These baskets with the lids soon became handbags or purses for the ladies. Jose lived from 1902 to 1980 and in that time he made over 5,000 baskets. His pocketbook baskets or handmade baskets became known as a friendship basket. There are many other well-known weavers in Nantucket who created baskets and sold their work and signed them. This is just a quick glimpse of some of the names. So I've mentioned several times throughout the video about the imported Nantucket baskets. Well, that's fine. Yes, everything gets created in China at some point and imported. But how do you identify an authentic Nantucket basket? First of all, as I keep saying, it's signed and dated. It has a wood bottom, which is traditional to a Nantucket style basket. And here's a picture of a wood bottom for you. An authentic Nantucket basket that's been around for a very long time would have wear, it would have age, it would have wear on the handle and, and on the bottom and the places that you would expect some wear to happen. The stays in the basket would be straight. They wouldn't be leaning and they would be very, very tightly woven so that the basket is almost waterproof and the lid fits perfectly. It fits tight and evenly and authentic Nantucket baskets have little nails along the rim. So keep these facts in mind and it naturally darkens with age and as I said, I'll say it again, it's signed and dated. This is what you want to be looking for and you can see the age on the basket as well in the coloring. 
This sale kind of surprised me. $2,250 plus $10 shipping. Surprised I didn't give free shipping. Nantucket Friendship Basket by Donna Safranic. She was very well known in Nantucket for her baskets in the 1980s. This scrimshaw design is done on a synthetic material. But anyway, yes, this is it. $2,250 plus shipping. This basket is signed. It's dated. That's when you know you've got something of higher value. Even the museum in Nantucket sells imported baskets. Yes, they do. It caused quite a ruckus when they first brought them in. The local artisans, the local weavers, were not happy about having imported baskets that were getting better and better in quality to compete with their authentic work that takes two days to make a friendship purse, a friendship basket. But the reason was because not everybody could afford a true authentic Nantucket basket that they um, gave them a little souvenir or a little token that they could get for $100 or less instead of $200 or more. I have mixed feelings about that, but that's just the way society rolls. In this video, I just shared highlights about the Nantucket history and baskets, and I really went down the rabbit hole with this one. I really had fun doing the research, and I suggest if you have any interest at all, go to Google and Google Nantucket baskets and the word history and watch some of the videos that are out there, whether you go to YouTube or just on Google and find them. I really had fun finding out about the history of these baskets. I was in that area, I don't know, five to six years ago. I wasn't directly in Nantucket, but I was very, very close and um, didn't have time to go there. And it's a beautiful area and I would love to go back someday. I really had fun researching and learning. I didn't know anything about Nantucket baskets and the, you know, the light ships or anything until I put this video together. And that's why I spent so much time. I could put a whole video together on Nantucket baskets. I just shared some highlights with you. I hope you learned something from it. I know I sure did. Well, everyone, thanks so much for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I invite you to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to receive notifications on future videos. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.